What's up, chosen ones? It's fearfully made, and I'm back with another quick message. Holy Spirit is saying destruction, and we are coming out of the book of Jeremiah chapter 4. Before we get started, let's start with a word of prayer. Holy Spirit of the Most High, we welcome you in this conversation today. Take over my vessel, take over my mouth and my mind, all of you and none of me. Use me as an instrument to speak to your children today. Let this message be a conviction to those who need it, and let this be comfort to those who receive it. In Jesus' name, amen. I was waiting on confirmation of this message from yesterday, and so I'm dropping it off today, and I did receive confirmation. We are coming out of Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 14. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? This message is for someone who is just filled with evil in their hearts, okay? Uh, Holy Spirit is saying, wash your heart from wickedness that you might be saved from the wrath that's about to come upon you. Holy Spirit is also saying, how long are you going to keep thinking these vain thoughts in your mind? It says, for a voice declareth from Dan and publisheth affliction from Mount Ephraim. So whoever this is for, there's an an, an affliction that is set out just for you. It says, Make ye mention to the nations, behold, publish against Jerusalem that watchers come from a far country and give out their voice against the cities of Judah. As keepers of a field, are they against her around about? Because she had been rebellious against me, saith the Lord. So whoever this is for, either you have you are the enemy that is that's been rebellious against God coming against other people or you have an enemy that has a relationship with God but has been rebellious against God coming against other children of God. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness because it is bitter. So whoever this person is for, um, your enemy has bitterness in their heart. They're very bitter. And it says, because it reaches un unto thine heart, which is confirmation of what I just said. The bitterness has literally gone to this person's heart. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. And I'm going to stop there, because that's why I'm being led to stop. But I had to skip to verse 20. Okay, so whoever this is for, <clears throat> your heart is very, very bitter. And... Um, Destruction is upon you if you don't repent. Okay? I love you. And this might be for an enemy of someone's too. So, share the video. Talk soon. Bye.